Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Epic Explorer. Ayan, if it's your first time here in our channel, my name is Romeo, your Google Workspace for Education Certified Trainer from the Philippines. Ayan, so uh, lately may nagtanong po sa akin, no? pwede po ba tayong gumawa or can we create uh, ranking questions in our Google Forms? Ayan, and the answer is yes, definitely pwede, pwede po tayong gumawa ng ranking question sa ating Google Forms. Okay, so paano ba yan? All you have to do, uh, but before that, okay, bago ko i-demo sa inyo, uh, please don't forget, kung kayo ay first time pa lang po dito sa aming channel, please uh, do subscribe, no? Subscribe po kayo sa aming channel and hit the uh, the notification button para kung meron po tayo mga bagong uh, videos, you're always updated, no? Ayan, so... And of course, uh, do also follow us in our Facebook page, The EdTech Explorer, din po ang pangalan. Ayan. So, thank you very much in advance. Okay. So, how do we create ranking questions in Google Forms? Okay. So, first of all, you have to open uh, your Google Forms here. Okay. So, meron na tayong naka-open na Google Forms dito. And, uh, ang kailangan lang po natin gawin dito is we choose... Uh, ito, no? Multiple choice grid, no? Ito yung ating type of question na kailangan to create a ranking questions. Okay, so click lang po natin to multiple choice grid. Ayan. And we have this uh, options here, okay? So, just like the usual, type lang po natin dito yung uh, yung ating question. Okay, so for example, ito yung question natin. Rank the following Okay, rank the following items according to its importance. Okay, according to its importance in your life. Yeah, in your life. So, example lang po ito, ha? Okay, so rank the following items according to its importance in your life. Okay, so example lang po ito. So, uh, sa rows natin, we have um, meron tayong rows and columns dito. Sa rows, dyan po natin ilalagay yung mga options or yung mga items na kailangan nilang i-rank. Okay, so let's type a sample items here. So for example, uh, electricity. Okay, we have electricity. We have uh, water. And then meron din tayong uh, internet. Okay, let's uh, type cell phone. Okay, and let's say, let's type uh, laptop. Ayan. So, for example, these are the items that we need to rank, okay, according to its uh, importance in our life. And once we have the items here in the row section, dilipat tayo dito sa ating columns. At dito sa columns natin, dito natin ilalagay yung parang numbering natin, okay? So, lagay po natin dito 0, 01, okay, 0, 02. Uh, 0, 3 Okay, hanggang makompleto natin yung 0, 5 Okay, yung 5th option So, pwede natin na numbers lang yung ilagay natin Or kung gusto niyo pwede rin tayo Pwede rin natin i-type yung word na rank Okay, so again, it depends upon uh, on you no? Kung anong gusto niyo Kung gusto niyo ba numbers lang Or nakalagay talaga yung the, the word rank no? So, for this example uh, Lata-type ko po yung word na rank Okay, so ayan So, meron na tayong ganito Okay, kunwari na type na natin lahat yung options natin, okay? Plus yung ranking natin na 1 to 5. Okay? So ayan. And then of course, <clears throat> uh, para mas para mas uh, para ma-activate natin or ma-achieve natin yung ranking question sa Google Forms, all you have to do is to number 1, require uh, i-activate natin tong require a response in each row, okay? So ibig sabihin po niyan, uh, required ang ating respondent to choose a answer or a choice in each row. Okay, so ibig sabihin hindi pwedeng uh, walang answer sa isang row. So, dapat lahat answered. The next is, di pa tayo dito sa three dots na to. Okay, sa op additional options natin. We click on that and we click on limit to one response per column. Ayan, so yan. Uh, once you have activated this, okay, the limit to one response per column, this means that the respondent can only choose one, okay, can only choose one uh, response per column, 
Okay, so per column tayo. So para mas ma-appreciate po natin, let's have uh, i-demo po natin to, okay? So let's just click this uh, button here, the preview button. So left click on this. Ayan, mag-open po siya ng isang tab. And we have the results here. So we have the title of the survey, okay? And we these are the question or for example, ito yung question natin to uh, to rank. So ito yung items to be ranked, okay? At ito yung ranking niya. So for example, uh, electricity kunwari rank 1 siya, okay? And then uh, once na choose po natin to, you will notice that mayroon tayong warning message dito. This question requires one response per row. So big sabihin kailangan talagang may response tayo sa bawat row. So, for example, sa water, gawin natin siyang number 2. Sa internet, number 3. Uh, sa cell phone, gawin natin siyang rank number 4. For laptop, gawin natin siyang ram rank number 5. You will notice that nawala yung warning message dito. Ibig sabihin, lahat na ng mga rows ay may sagot na. Now, please take note of this. Tingnan natin na dito, focus tayo dito sa water and internet. So, I will try to change the response or the rank of internet from rank 3 going to rank 2. So, pag kinlik ko po yan, notice that may lalabas na warning sign dito. Ang sabi dito, please don't select more than one response per column. So, in other words, we cannot have uh, more than one, okay, more than one uh, response in one column. So, that means kailangan magpalit tayo dito sa uh, column, uh, ilipat natin or mag-change tayo ng, uh, ng answer either dito sa column 2 or dito sa column 3. So, ibabalik ko lang po. I will return my choice for internet to rank 3 so that I will have no uh, no error message anymore. So, like this. Then, all you have to do is just to click submit. Ayan. So, pag nasubmit na po natin yan, balik po tayo dito sa ating uh, original file and you will notice na meron na po tayong response time okay so click po natin to our response and you will notice that nandito na yung uh, mga kasagutan natin no? so ayan so these are the choices that we have okay now let's try another one okay let's have another uh, response okay so for example for electricity let's say I will rank this to 2 and then for water 1 internet uh, let's say three and then for cell phone i'll make it uh, five and for laptop i'll make it rank four okay so assuming that this is the uh the choices okay again let's try to have uh, internet on the second rank ayan we have another error here so that means hindi talaga pwede na dalawang sagot sa isang column so check palitan lang natin to okay so we have this and then all you have to do is just to click Submit. Ayan. Okay, so we have this one. And let's go back to our main page and go to the responses. And as you can see, we have this one here. Okay, so ito yung, mga, ito yung current result natin. No? Uh, current ranking, ranking. And if this is an official uh, questionnaire, we can see here that uh, rank uh, internet is uh, in rank uh, two, no, or rank three. Many pe uh, at least two people rank internet as rank three. Okay, so we can have other interpretations on this one, and that's how we create uh, ranking questions using our Google Forms. Okay, so we just use the multiple choice grid uh, type of question in Google Forms. Right. So I hope you, this uh, you find this tutorial helpful. And again, please don't forget. Uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The EdTech Explorer. And please do follow us in our Facebook page called The EdTech Explorer. Maraming salamat at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!